Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. As you can see today, I'm not in my sewing room. I am actually in my kitchen <laughs> because I told you guys I would show you how I was gonna dye my rope for our rope bowl sew day this Saturday. So right now I'm boiling the water. You have to have at least three gallons of hot water. Um, you need your rope, obviously, your writ dye, and I got the color teal. And then you need a cup of salt, which I've got here. And you need some Dawn or not Dawn. I shouldn't say Dawn. I'm not advertising for Dawn. I use Dawn though. <laughs> Dishwashing soap. You need about a teaspoon of this mixed in this concoction um, to do the cotton dyeing. Now, if you're not using cotton, if you're using nylon or polyester, there's other directions. This is just for 100% cotton, which is what I have. I have 100% cotton clothesline. So, um, I'm just waiting for the water to boil and then we'll get started. Make sure that you have a good space for this. I'm using this tub to mix this in because it will stain countertops. It will stain your sink unless you have a stainless steel sink. Um, so don't put it in anything plastic or even ceramic. It can stain. Um, if you have stainless steel, that's fine. You can do it in a sink. So that's why I'm doing it in a tub. I do have a stainless steel sink, but it's not a big, huge, like not one of those uh, farm sinks. So it's a divided sink, so I don't really have enough space in it. So I'm gonna do it in this bucket. And so I'll move my camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. And then definitely wear gloves so you don't dye anything. And I actually might put on my apron too. So that way I don't get anything on my clothes, but I am wearing dark clothes and I did that on purpose just in case. So I'm just waiting for the water to boil and then we'll get started. Okay, so I've got my three gallons of hot water in here. I don't know if you can see the steam in the video, but it's definitely steaming. <laughs> I'm gonna put my cup of salt. I'm gonna stir that around. You wanna make a teaspoon of that. I've just got these big long tongs. If you can use a wooden spoon or some kind of spoon or something to stir this around. The salt supposedly helps the color to adhere more to the whatever you're dyeing. So we'll see how this works. Okay, and also now I'm gonna add my teaspoon of dishwashing liquid. And probably if you're dyeing this like a different color, you might want to find a clear dishwashing liquid, but my color is teal, so I don't think it's going to matter that my dishwashing liquid is blue. So I'm going to mix that all up. I'm going to open that die. My daughter's sitting right here assisting me. She said it's like a science project. Sort of, kind of. It seems like it. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna mix that up and I'm just gonna add some dye and we're just going to mix that around. The most important thing when you're dyeing is just to keep stirring everything for quite a bit of time. I'm gonna put some more in because that's not gonna be dark enough. And don't forget the color that you get in here is not gonna be the color that is on your, well it will be, but It'll be darker when it's in the water. Once you take it out of the water, you have to rinse it and then wash it. So it's gonna be lighter. So this might look like it's getting really dark, um, but I want it to be a really nice blue color. So it'll probably look darker than what my rope's actually going to be. Can you grab me a paper towel, please? Um. So the way to check your color after you've mixed it all up is to stick a white paper towel down in. So I'm gonna stick a piece of that down in, pull it out, and as you can see, it's still pretty light blue. It's not, even though it seems like this is dark, it's not really super saturated, so I'm gonna put some more dye in. Just keep mixing this. And it may end up taking the whole bottle of dye, I'm not sure. 
we'll see what the color looks like here in a minute. That's better. It's more blue. I like that. It's starting to look really pretty. But it will be lighter once we rinse it, so I think I'm just going to put a little bit more of the dye in. Okay. When I kept that and wipe it off if there's any dye that came out on down the sides or whatever. paper towel yeah that's nice blue I like that all right so set these in here so I don't get dye on the countertop and now I'm just gonna throw my rope in here and it's gonna have to soak for at least 20 minutes or so 20 30 minutes and you just have to constantly stir it so I'm gonna be stirring for quite a while and make sure it all gets down in there it's already turning a pretty blue. So I'm just going to keep stirring it for a while and I'll be back and show you what we do when it's all done kind of cooking in this mixture. <laughs> okay, so here I am with the rope. I dumped out all the um, dye bath and now we're going to put in some cold water and rinse all of this off so my lovely assistant sarah <laughs> is going to help me get some cold water here so we can start to rinse this guy off i still have my gloves on because dye is going to come out of this rope go ahead and pour it in honey thank you and i'm going to swish this around but this color came out so beautiful I love it. And some of it's gonna come out, but not a ton. Left this in for about 20 minutes. Yeah, about 20 minutes. The minimum is 10. Sorry, that's my son in the background. Well, I'm not apologizing for him, but that's what you're hearing. He has uh, special needs, so he makes noises. Don't be alarmed, he's fine. <laughs> And my other son over here is poking at the bin. <laughs> it's a family affair. <laughs> so we're just gonna keep putting cold water on here until this rope is covered and I'm gonna swish it around for a while, stir it up like we did when it was hot. I'm gonna get my stick. Um, and then after this is done, after we get all this excess dye off with the cold, the cold kind of sets it, then we'll wash it. And you can either wash it um, <laughs> Henry, your face is in there. You can either wash it in here with warm water or in your sink and like some Dawn dishing soap, or you can actually throw this in your washing machine after you've set it with the cold water. And you can wash it in there on a warm cycle with like your normal um, soap that you use for washing clothes. So either way, I'm probably just gonna wash it in the sink. instead of putting it in the washing machine. So, and you can see my little guy through over here, I think maybe <laughs> watching me do this. <laughs> so my daughter's putting the cold water in and my little guy is over here watching. Probably two more of those, baby, thank you. And the reason for the gloves is if there is any extra dye, although it's not coming on my gloves before like it was when it was hot, just so I don't get dye on me, but also because the water is really cold. <laughs> and it helps. I got the extra thick gloves. It helped when the water was hot. I was actually able to touch this, even though it was almost boiling water. Um, and it didn't burn or anything. And now it's like, it, I can feel the cold a little bit through it, but not a ton, but it is cold. So that'll help having wearing gloves. A little more and then I don't have um, you know freezing cold fingers <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep rinsing this like this and stirring it and after I'm done with this I'm gonna probably do this for about 10 minutes 
Then I will wash it in the sink with warm water and dish detergent. And then I'll show you guys what this looks like. And of course this is wet right now. It's gonna look lighter when it's dry. So for right now it's like a really pretty greenish teal color, which bluish teal color, which what I what I wanted. So I'm really happy with it so far. Okay, here we are. I have the rope drying outside. This is actually the lid from the bin that I used with some paper towels. As you can see, it's not really staining the paper towels at all. I rinsed this really good in that cold water that you guys saw me, and then I washed it in our kitchen sink because we have a stainless steel sink with Dawn soap on like medium, medium warm, you know, water, and it has come out so pretty. And it didn't really take that long. I mean, all in all, an hour's worth of work. I just need it to dry now. I did um, kind of untangle it and kind of throw it on here loosely. So I'll just have to wind it now into like a nice circle. Um, but I love it. I really, really love how it came out. So I hope that uh, maybe you'll be inspired to do this too. You can pick whatever color of the rainbow that you want. Make sure you use a 100% cotton clothesline. This was clothesline that was specifically marketed to the crafting world from the Gypsy Quilter, but you can get cotton clothesline at any dollar store, Walmart, Home Depot, anything like that. Um, and this was a hundred, I believe it was a hundred yard uh, pack. Maybe it was a hundred feet. I think it was a hundred yards. Um, anyway, so <laughs> that's uh, what that is. And I really love it. I'm super excited with how it turned out. So I definitely will be doing this again in the future. So uh, yay. So now that we have this all done and dyed, um, I'm just going to let it dry. And then Saturday, we'll sew this up on my channel live. And I'm going to have a special guest with me, a good friend in the quilting world. And we're going to sew this up together into rope bowls. So I hope you'll join me this Saturday live at 5 p.m. Eastern time on my channel. See you then. Bye.